Hey, Chris Hagen. I'm out here at Bridal Ridge, all right? Uh, we're across the street from the Casey's, and this is the Hillsboro Farmer's Market, okay? And over the years, this has bounced around a couple of different places. The last couple of years, it's been out at the uh, Hillsboro Fairgrounds, and now it's back here at Bridal Ridge. That used to be owned by Comtree. Now it's owned by the uh, Hillsboro School District. And again, this is like, uh, it, it, it evolves as far as how many vendors that they have. Uh, I don't know, we got like six, seven vendors right now. Uh, next week there could be 12, the next week could be five or six. Kind of depends on everything that is in season. And uh, the honey people are here. As, and, and these are the busy people. So far, they're busy bees. Um, and it's amazing. So if you buy the honey and it's in a jar, there's like a deposit where you bring the jars back. Because while we were talking, several people were coming up, swapping out jars. Um, I, I think two things make a farmer's market really good. One is food because people are hungry. And then the second is music. No music here today. But if you play an instrument and you um, want to come out and play the guitar, I'm sure that that's not a problem. This was amazing. I got to talk to these people, all right? And it is, it is Crest Farms, right? Yes, sir. Crest Farms, but it's more than just like a Crest Farms. They've got walking trails, right? Yes. yes. And, and they're by Sandy Creek Covered Bridge. And well, let's just face it, you're not really a Jefferson Countyan if you don't go to the Sandy Creek Covered Bridge at least once a year. Exactly and have a picnic and, and your and the farm it's not your farm or is it your farm it is the garden preserve club it is the garden preserve we own it you own as it as members okay okay and to be a member it's 25 dollars. 25 dollars single yes student 10 dollars okay 35 dollars in the same household more than two 35 dollars be a member okay yeah. So, so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in front of the camera. Yes. Oh, and, and this is the map, Crest Farm. Again, it's right there by uh, the Sandy Creek Covered Bridge, yes. which was an actual working covered bridge until like 1980. Yes. Uh, these are walking trails. Check it out. One mile trail, two mile trail, 1.2, uh, half a mile, whatever. They got all these different trails. Uh, be, you don't actually have to be a member you don't have to be a member. But don't be a cheapskate. <laughs> it's only $35 for a family. Yeah, or we can take donations, and it's open seven days a week. Yeah. From 9 to 3 for hikers and 9 to 4 for visitors. And we also rent, you know, yes. uh, a space there for weddings, you know, and uh, birthdays. Okay. You know, and also a group and of people who wants to go on picnic. Right. You know, you let us know ahead of time and we will reserve. Yes. And we also have plant sale once a, once a year. Okay. Which is just over last week. Right. Uh, and then we have speakers uh, every month with our potluck. Okay. You know, uh, and the speakers are, most of them are master gardeners. Wow. All right. You know, and uh, we recruit them, and then uh, they give very educational, you know, topics. Uh -huh. And we also in conjunction with the uh, Jefferson College. Okay. Okay. To get your master gardener credit, you know, we attend uh, the, the class. Yes. And then in order for them to complete the hours, you go to Press Farm. To, to do 30 hours. All right. You know, so there's a lot of activities you can do there. I mean, you don't have to be in your limited capability. Okay. You are welcome, you know, um, over there. Social club. Yes. <laughs> well, it, it's very exciting as somebody that knows a lot about Jefferson County and I did not know about it. I'm excited to learn more and hopefully I can get out soon.
Yes. And walk around the path and, yes. and, and promote it to more people. Yes. Again, $35 for a household is, yes. is, is very, very cheap. Yes. Hey, thank you very, very much. Thank you. I'm glad you guys are able to come. Yeah. Okay. This is, we'll see you more. This okay. is so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. And, and she also uh, is like the person that's doing the... Um, the farmer's market, and these people pay $10 to set their stuff up. So uh, nobody's getting rich. It's a hobby. It's a passion. And then some people like Tom here just retired. Did you? Yeah, I did. And now he's working again. I am. But he's doing something that he loves. How, you work for, who do you work for again? TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Okay. What does TJ stand for? Just two initials just, they picked just, out of the, just, okay. they started with a couple other initials and they couldn't use them. Okay. Started by Ben Camarada back in the, the 70s. Wow. All right. Part of the Zero Corporation. All right. And then I remember 20 something years ago, there was a TJ Maxx and just kind of like uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, there was a Marshalls. Yep. But then they merged or well, one, yeah, one um, bought TJ Maxx, yeah, TJ Maxx bought Marshalls. Bought, bought Marshalls. And don't they own somebody else? They own Home Goods also. Home Goods. And Sierra Trading. Okay. And then you go you go into Canada, there's three different franchises in Canada, and you go to Europe, there's also TK Maxx. Wow. Yeah. And now you're selling we're what? Selling, we're, selling, we're selling soap, <coughs> shampoo, and conditioner bars, we got sugar scrubs, we got Mac, Max's dog soap, which is uh, a very, very nice uh, <coughs> dog soap. Well, we've been selling that for years. Um, we also have uh, salt bars. They're getting uh, the, the, salt, the salt bars are are, are fat, fabulous. Okay, we've got three butters in the salt bars. You know, when you go into the ocean and you come out of the ocean, how your skin feels yes. so fresh? Yes. That's what you get with a salt bar. Okay. Uh, also, salt is purifying, so it is great for your cells. Right. Yeah. And it's kind of um, a scrub and everything. Yeah, yeah, else, very, so. very light. Our, our heaviest one that would have the most scratch to it would be our coffee one. Because um, a lot of people like to get it really heavy into that because yeah. it, it's more, and it's a moisturizing because we, we have three different butters in there besides. So it's, 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 you know, spa-like. So you go to the spa, this is the kind of bar or soap they would be using in there. And your wife mainly does the manufacturing? Yeah, yeah, my, wife, yeah, my, yeah my wife does a lot of this. I, I do a lot of the salt bars. Um, I, I'm involved in the shampoo and conditioner bars and the sugar scrubs. She hasn't let me, so you can see her, her some of her artwork here. She hasn't, yes. uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not good enough for that yet. I think uh, it's something that I'll, I'll be learning as some more yeah, time. If you like abstract art, I mean, we've got it right here. Yep. And then you're out of Arnold. We are out of Arnold. Yep. All right. Well, that is so exciting. Uh, love Arnold. My grandparents lived in Arnold. My uncle graduated from Fox High School. Okay, so, absolutely. So it works out great. Tom, yep. thank you very hey, much. Thank you. you guys have a great day. Yes, now we're going to go talk to Teresa. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I used to be really good at remembering names, and now I'm somewhat out of practice. Now, we talked to a girl the other day at Herculaneum, and she had 50 chickens. And how many chickens do you have? About a hundred. A hundred chickens. That's like a full-time job getting the eggs. Now, do they peck at you when you're going after the eggs, or do you wear a special glove, or they just, like, roll them out to you? Now? No, I usually kick them out. You kick them out? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know if there was, like, all these chickens, and then they lay the egg, and the egg, you know, like in the cartoons no, when we no. were kids? No, no. No, they, they have their own little spots, but, yeah, they're... Sometimes, you know, you can have one, though, that's called a clucker and she'll want to stay in. So, okay. So you got to get rid of them okay. and add, pull them out of there. And All right. Add, so, yep. Now, my brother, on the other hand, he just puts his hand underneath there. They just... tried to pack at me. He just whopped them. <laughs> <laughs> Not so, me. So, Not me. So no. where's your farm? <laughs> it's in Fenton. In Fenton. Now, now, for those of us who are, are familiar with Fenton, Part of Fenton is in St. Louis County, and part of Fenton is in Jefferson County, kind of like uh, Pacific and Eureka. Part of it's in Jefferson County, part of it's in Franklin County. But you're in the Jefferson County side. Not that that necessarily makes a difference, but whenever you're cooking breakfast for the kids, you can tell everybody these are Jefferson County eggs. And then you, you, you make angel food cakes and all kinds of other things. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but then we also have our veggies. And that um, we grow 
while we roughly get about anywhere from three to four hundred uh, tomato plants a year. Wow. And that's so I have everything wow. from the little marble size on up to the bigger size in that, which are the big beef steaks and stuff okay. like that. Right. So I have yellows, I have pinks, I have reds. Um, I have purple bumblebees. I have yellow that, bumblebees. That, that, that's a that's a tomato. Yes. A tomato yes. called a purple bumblebee. Have we ever had yes. a purple bumblebee? <laughs> they're what? they're like an heirloom. Okay, um, I've heard of that. Except they're only like a cherry one. They're yes. they're smaller, and that but they're very meaty, very juicy. Um, they have a really good flavor to them. Yeah. A lot of people like them. That uh, I been doing it now for the last couple years and they just love them in salads and that that they make like you know pasta salads and stuff like that right. they cut them up and they said their texture just stays real nice and firm they don't get funny like some of these other ones do well so. and, and, and what i think is because you know school's still in session right now but school's about out and then the parents are everybody's busy and everybody's on their cell phones and all this other stuff but if the parents gets each one of the kids two or three different tomato plants to take care of because I, I remember my parents having a garden and my wife grew up on a farm the food always tastes a little bit better oh, when you better. grew it yeah. and it always tastes better when you're the one that cooks it yeah. you know so i just think with with everything and all the distractions in the world uh, people having small gardens, even if it's just a couple of containers. Well, and that's why I try to sell a few, you know, and that so that people, if they do want to have their own little garden, they can try to, you know, do yeah. it themselves. And then I get them started for them, and then they can take it from there. Take it from there. And yep. then, you've now, already some done. People can and some people can't. So. Well, <laughs> but you've already done the hard part. Right. The right. hard part is, you know, it's taking it from the seed yeah. and trying to make it grow. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you can have ten seeds. It doesn't mean you're going to get ten plants. That's right. Usually ten seeds. Well, and, and you could, but then some could die, even right. though you do that. So, right. And, uh, right. So don't buy your kid so one many. tomato plant. Buy your kid four or five tomato plants, and that way you're guaranteed to get a couple of them yep. still go. Yeah. No, my 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 granddaughter actually likes the the purple bumblebees as snackers, and that she will walk around the Arnold Farmers Market with a big bag and just hand them out to other kids, and they like look at it like this way. Right. You know. yeah, yeah. Well, it's called the purple bumblebee. Yeah, they are. It. They're cool if looking. You're ten, you gotta eat it just because it's called a purple. <laughs> Bees everywhere I go. <laughs> well, hey, thank you very much. I oh, look forward to seeing you again real soon. We'll probably come back and get one of those angel okay. food cakes because well, I'm on an angel food cake <laughs> diet. Uh, for those of you that haven't been out to Bridal Ridge, when Comtree had this, they had a, a big plant and they completely remodeled the inside of that barn. And it is just absolutely spectacular. Not sure what the plan is for the. Uh, uh, Hillsborough School District. Again, we're right here by Casey's, and it's on Wednesdays from 3.30 till 6. Am I right? And you're Julie? Now, it says Julie's right there. And I tripped over this before. And, and in addition to being by Casey's, we're by the fire department. So where's your farm? Uh, we're off 67 Highway um, in DeSoto. In DeSoto. So, am I going past 110 south? Yeah, you take 110, okay. and then you go south. The first exit is Lee Pile Road. Lee Pile Road, yep, know exactly right. where that is. We've been doing um, farming there for a long time. We were dairy farmers before we... Woo! Are you vegetables. still doing that? No, we got out of that. Dairy farming, when that's... My husband, bought, um, our family bought the farm. They started with vegetables back in... Uh, 55, 60s, they were um, raising strawberries and stuff. Really? So then they got the dairy farm going, and now we're back doing vegetables and row crops and cattle. Yes, yes. Well, now you get some time off with the exception of the cattle. Yeah. But the dairy yeah. thing never ends. So, so did, did, you know, and I'm not passing judgment because I know different, but did you grow the strawberries? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Really? It's already strawberry season. Yes, it is. Oh, yep. wow. We grow them every year. That's my strawberry jam from strawberry those strawberries. Jam. From these, from that, those strawberries, yeah. All, all Jefferson County stuff. And again, you know, for me, if it's St. Francis County, Frank, you know, you're not going to Schnucks or some of these other places. And I think farmers markets, and again, school's still in session, but I'm telling you, when school lets out, you got to bring the kids or the grandkids and come out to these things and talk mm -hmm. to everybody. Small business people, if you sold everything here, you 
probably can't make more than 150 bucks. You know, you, yeah, you're not right. getting, you're not no. getting rich. No, we're not getting rich. No, no. It's something that we can enjoy doing. If we didn't enjoy doing all the growing and stuff, we probably wouldn't do it. So I think everybody at the market has passion into what they're growing. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it's and then we, somewhat of a lost our start. Our farm here, we try hard not to put any pesticides or any kind of chemicals or anything. So we're all natural. Okay. And um, so we really strive on because our family eats it, so uh -huh. I feel like I'm selling the product. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, again, I'm gonna wrap it up. Julie, thank you. This is the Hillsboro Farmers Market, and it does get a little confusing because there's lots of farmers markets that operate different days of the week and different times. Mm -hmm. um, and this particular one is on Wednesdays in Hillsboro from 3.30 until six o'clock. Lots of parking. Lots of restrooms. Uh, if you're in the Hillsboro area, definitely come by and check it out. As always, press like and share. Every time somebody shares it, like another uh, 50 people see the video. So thank you for promoting this.